Hi everyone, I am standing here in the, what's called the Somerset model for Nielsen Homes. This is a beautiful community. Um, it's got townhomes, it's got patio homes, it's got patio homes hooked together. It's got single family homes that are big like this one. Uh, this one is 4,700 square feet, 2,200 on the main floor. So three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. And then it's got a full basement that's unfinished at 2,500 square feet. This home sits on 0.38 of an acre, which is massive. We're gonna take a look outside. But first I wanna show you a little bit about this floor plan. Stay tuned because you will love the garage. And there's a unique feature, the walk out or the walk in for, to the basement. And I'll show you where that's located. Another great thing and very appealing for this uh, particular home. The elevation, the outside is farmhouse and it's done in a white and you've got a big, nice size um, front porch to decorate uh, on and to put your uh, decor on and puts two seats out front. It's west facing, which I have another video coming up that we're gonna talk about which way you should face if you live in Davis Weber counties because um, it matters. This one faces west, which is probably the number one way to face in Utah, in Davis County and Weber County. So we'll, sh we'll take a look, you can take a look at that video. All right, here is the entry. I'm gonna turn around, beautiful kitchen. But I wanted to show you the entryway. So in this plan, you come in and you can see your beautiful family room and a massive gourmet kitchen. Let's take a look at that because everybody loves just to see the kitchen in a home. So you've got a gas a drop-in stove top, beautiful hood, and then you've got uh, your oven and microwave over there. These are quartz countertops, farmhouse sink. Love the backsplash. I don't know if you can see this, it's kind of a, um, I wanna say a mushroom color, which is super popular right now. And then you've got the, the gold veining or the tan veining through your countertops. What I love about this plan is actually this dining room. It's nice and big. It's off to the side of the kitchen rather than um, boom, 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 like kitchen, dining, family room, all in one row. I like it off to the side, I don't know about you. And they're doing a lot of this flooring. This is laminate and um, th the lighter flooring is back in. So we are seeing a lot of this. Sorry for, they haven't cleaned yet in this, so you're gonna see some things on the floor. Um, but I wanted to get in and do this video um, before this is sold, because this is probably one of the most popular floor plans that Nelson builds. The same um, tile on the backsplash is on the fireplace. All right, let's uh, let's head over to. The, well, let's go this way. Let's go this way. So you have this little tiny office off of the kitchen and I love this actually. This is really all you need as an office space. Um, I want to say it's probably like seven by eight um, feet uh, for a little desk in there, a drop zone. Um, this is a coat closet or a storage linen closet. You could probably have it either way. Super nice big pantry um, that's the L shape. So you've got um, or the U-shape, I mean. So you've got a lot of pantry space. Love this little um, coffee thing, but actually let me show you this other place for that. If you wanna um, have a little coffee bar or hot chocolate bar, or you could actually probably get, remove this cabinet and get, sorry, it's really hard to see. Let me back up. So there's just this little extra cabinetry as you come to the garage. All right, we're gonna go in there, but I gotta get my coat on, so we'll, we'll hit that last. This here is double um, coat closets, 
and then you've got your drop zone here. I'm so sorry that you can't see this. The walls are kind of like um, a gray color. Um, it's very neutral. And then you've got your little half bath here with a pedestal sink. All right, so let's head to the other side of the house. And I will show you two bedrooms, a main bathroom, and the master ensuite. All right, if you head left here, you're gonna go to the master. We'll show you that first. Nice big master. You've got tray ceiling up here. You can also have them add uh, more can lights if you like that. But this is a beautiful ensuite. And again, sorry for the dust. You're not quite done yet but you've got a nice big master tub and shower there. And then I love the color. It's kind of a pickle to me, a pickle cabinetry color. I'm not quite sure what they call that, but I like that color. And uh, then you've got um, your quartz countertops with square seats. So that's cute. Nice big master closet, lots of shelves shoes because we ladies or I don't know some guys have lots of shoes too so anyway let's head over and I'll show you the two bedrooms and then you've got a main bath here okay same pickle cabinet tree it's a tan color bathroom main bathroom linen closet here this is this bedroom faces the front actually both bedrooms face the front This one might be a little bit bigger than the other one. And then you've got a nice big laundry room. So I'm going to back up so you can see that. All right. Let's walk back out and to the beautiful kitchen. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Okay, I want to show you the ceiling. This is a pitched ceiling, vaulted. Guess what look really cute? shiplap you could tongue and groove that super cute oh that would be so cute so anyway let's uh let's head downstairs and i'm going to show you this 2500 square feet downstairs all right this is the downstairs this is where you uh this could be a family room a smaller family room or you could use this left side as the big family room they've got a support beam here which you could either decorate that out and uh, with just some uh, wood or you could sheetrock over that I don't know I'm thinking that you'd probably want to decorate that out and put some uh, fake beans on there wrap it super huge down here okay this is the other side so this side faces south so you've got plumbed for a bathroom down here. You could do a huge theater room. That's really popular. And you could have a you could have your electronics here if you wanted. You could even do a little kitchenette if you had that plumbed prior to uh, building. And then over here, I want to show you. This is under the back porch, which we didn't go out. So let's take a look at the back porch. Good cold storage room. Oh my gosh, you guys, you could have shelving in there for all of your big yard. You could do a big garden. All right, this is what, something that you don't normally see, which is very unique to this floor plan. This is the walkout. So most people have a walkout that goes to their outside, but this one actually goes to the garage, the massive garage. So this is the third car area, which is third, three car deep. And then there is your walkout to your outside in the backyard. But this is the two car area 
And I'm just gonna turn here so you can see the stairs to get up into the house. Now these ramblers are all raised, meaning they come up out of the ground so you've got a daylight basement. And the reason for that is we, the, West Haven is sits west of Ogden, and so the groundwater is higher, and so they build these ramblers a little bit raised. Okay, let's go take a look at the patio, and uh, I'll show you that. Nice, covered, big porch. You guys, this is awesome because in the, in the, uh, if you face west, you're going to have shade back here, so you have a nice big patio. Then you've got some treks decking to go down. But look at your view. I don't know if you like that big yard, but I love that big yard. Okay, you guys, this house is beautiful. Price, again, is $8. 829,000 it's over 4700 square feet it has it comes with 2000 square feet of free sod it has an HOA of two, only 200 a year um, and there's 40 acres of green space walking trails pickleball courts the community is wonderful and how do I know that because I live here and the, the neighbors are super friendly it's a great community uh, I think you'll love it it's um, green farms and it's built by Nielsen Homes they're a great builder or I wouldn't have built with them see ya